Bertha, lovely Bertha, you are a lovely machine. And anyone who works with you will know just what I mean. Whoa, Bertha, lovely Bertha, sometimes I think you're a dream. When we work out what you have to do, you can always turn the goods out, always turn the goods out. We can depend upon you. Clicking in the day, flashing in the night, your computer is shining brightly. Some people say you have a mind of your own, and I think that's very likely, likely. Oh, Bertha, lovely Bertha, sometimes I think you're a dream. When we work out what you have to do, you can always turn the goods out, always turn the goods out, we can depend upon you. This week at Spotty's Wood and Company, Bertha is making plastic bath sponges. Ted is pouring in the sponge making liquid. And Roy is ready with the air. I'm ready, Ted. How about you, Tom? Right, if we're ready, we can get started. Uh -huh, yes, okay, yes, yes. Right, go! <laughs> Nell and Flo are waiting for Bertha to make the first sponge. Nell is ready to pack and Flo is ready to stack. Come on, Bertha, come on. Shall we let in some more air, Ted? Yes, but not too much, or we'll have more holes than sponge. More air, Tom! What's the hold up? I don't think Bertha likes making sponges, Flo. I thought sponges came from the bottom of the sea. Yes, well, real ones do. Nothing yet, Ted. I don't know what's happening here. Now, let me see. Uh, 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 ah, that sounds better. Here they come. I think they're too small, Ted. You couldn't have much of a bath with that. Uh, I think it needs more air. More air, Roy. More air, Tom. Stop, stop. There's too much. Stop, Tom, stop. It won't turn off. Phew, that stopped it. I hope we haven't let in too much air. Wow, cool. I think that one's going to be too big, Ted. I wonder what is wrong with Bertha today. I think I'd better make some uh, more adjustments. Like I said, I don't think she likes making plastic sponges. <laughs> My goodness, that is the biggest sponge I have ever seen. Yes, it's a mistake. Uh, will you take it away for his Paget? Yes, most certainly, when I've delivered this. What's in there, Paget? I do not rightly know. Mr. Duncan told me to collect it from the yard. It came this morning by large lorry. Now, come along, come along. What's the hold-up, Paget? What's in the crate, Mr. Duncan? You'll find out all in good time. Bring it this way, Paget. Mm. 
I wonder what's in there. OK, let's get back to work. We'll move the sponge off the conveyor belt. Up your end, Nell. Steady, steady. It's not heavy, just awkward. Put it down. That's right. Oh. Oh. I hope Bertha doesn't make any more big ones like that. All right, Ted. I will take this and put it in the store shed. Mr Duncan wants everyone to go to the other end of the factory, Ted. He's going to open up the crate. Come along, let's go and see what all the mystery's about. Right, gather round, everybody. I can't stay long, Mr Duncan. I've got to get the tea trolley ready. We won't be needing the tea trolley anymore, Mrs Top, because in here we have an automatic vending machine. What is an automatic vending machine, exactly? You will soon see, Flo. <laughs> Give me a hand here, Roy. Well, I never. Now, pay attention while I explain. By pressing any of these buttons, this machine will automatically make you tea, coffee or hot chocolate, with or without milk, with sugar or no sugar at all. In fact, this uh, wonderful machine will make it any way you like it. I like it best the way Mrs Tub makes it. This machine will make it much faster and so save time on tea breaks. I will demonstrate. Plug it in for me, Roy. Keep back, Tom. Now, if anyone wants a nice cup of tea, this is what you do. Press the button for tea. Press the button for milk. Press the button for sugar. And there you are. A nice hot cup of tea. That's all there is to it. Does that mean I'm not the tea lady anymore? You'll still serve tea to those people in the offices, Mrs Top. This thing is doing me out of a job. I'm going to have a word with the manager. I'll come with you, Mrs Top. Do you want to try it, Nell? I'll give it a go. What would you like, Flo? Tea with milk, but no sugar. Nell, I think I'll have the same. I suppose it is a jolly clever machine. Yes, but it doesn't give you a current bun like Mrs. Top. It seems that Tom has found a new friend. Upstairs in the office, Mrs Tup is complaining to the manager. This new hot drinks machine is doing me out of a job, Mr Willmake. You mustn't be upset, Mrs Tup. 
when Mr. Duncan suggested buying the machine, I thought it would save you a lot of work. That machine will never take the place of Mrs. Tap. You must give it time, Ted. I'm sure people will soon get used to it. I've just had a call from Mr. Duncan, sir. That new drinks machine has broken down already. Good gracious, that didn't last long. He said something about Tom playing about with it. Tom? We better go and see. Who did this? Tut, 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 tut. That machine had cost a fortune. What has happened here, Mr. Duncan? I don't know, sir. I came past and found this. I think the little robot has been playing about. He didn't mean any harm. He probably thought he'd found a new friend to play with. Well, I never. It's blown up. I'd better go and make us all a nice cup of tea. <laughs> What are we going to do with this machine now? Oh, I'll soon have this repaired, sir. Then we can keep it for when Mrs. Tuff is away on holiday and things. Yes, yes, that is a splendid idea, Mr. Spot. Now we'll have to get all this mess cleaned up. Bertha's just made the very thing to do that, Mr. Wilbrake. It's a giant sponge. Good old Bertha. Whenever he's working and happens to be near Everyone can hear his signal singing loud and clear He's a lovely little robot and he feels just like a friend He helps with all the tiresome jobs that never seem to end Everyone just loves to see him, hopes nothing will go wrong It's great to hear him buzzing round and bleeping out his song A sight to see him working, electronically talking. T O M, Bertha's robot son. It's super since he's been here helping everything along. T O M, Bertha's robot son. It's super since he's been here helping everything along. He's a lovely little robot and he feels just like a friend. Helps with all the tiresome jobs that never seem to end. Everyone just loves to see him, hopes nothing will go wrong. It's great to hear him buzzing round and bleeping out his song. <laughs> These sponges are just the right size. They fit the sponge bag nicely. Oh, that's good. And that big one really came in handy, eh? Good old Bertha. You've done it again. Oh, Bertha, lovely Bertha. Sometimes I think you're a dream. When we work out what you have to do, you can always turn the goods out, always turn the goods out. We can depend upon you. Oh, 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 oh. 